Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another Fujisen Junior Weekly week, uh, podcast. In these podcasts, uh, I just talk about what happened throughout my week and just let you guys know. So, yeah, let's get going. If you like these,、uh, if you like this series, make sure you like and subscribe, and let's get rolling. So, Monday, I had、um, convocation at、uh, the high school for my district. And that's basically just a gathering of all faculties, you know, just talking about the year, just like celebrating all that. And then in the afternoon, I had PD, saw my coworkers, you know, it was nice seeing them again. I have a new team, so I was like very excited to work with them. A little nervous with the change and everything, but honestly, it's a good challenge for me as well, being able to work with other people that I haven't worked with so that I can build my.、Uh, Social skills as well. And that was Monday. Tuesday, I had a、uh, meet and greet with the family members and the students. And honestly, that was nerve wracking because obviously, when parents are involved and when I see parents for the first time, I want to make sure that I leave a good impression. And yeah, the parents that came to the, few,、uh, to the meet and greet, they're all very kind.、Um, the students were kind of shy. Which totally makes sense because it was like the first time seeing me, first time going up to the second floor. Because three, four, five our, at our school,、um, we have、um, well, they, they move up to the second floor compared to the first floor, which is like the younger grades. Because their first time transitioning to a different、uh, floor, different environment, different teacher,、uh, a lot of factors all、uh, come in play. And you know, they're nervous. I was nervous myself, I was sweating a lot. And yeah, my day went well for the meet and greet. I met my students from my、uh, previous year, which was very cute. You know, I missed them a lot. So it was nice for them to like visit my classroom, you know, saying hi, you know, dabbing me up, giving me hugs, you know, all that, <laughs> giving me fist bumps, all those things. So it was really cute. And yeah, I was very, I was definitely looking forward to the school year after I saw my new group. I was like, you know, ready to teach. I. Also, had PD afterwards, and this PD was more for me to just prepare for the first three days.、Um, getting to be getting to what am I trying to say? Trying to be familiarized with my uh, you know, what? just cut that out, <laughs> cut that out. Yeah, no, I was just uh, trying to get familiar with uh, the curriculum that I was going to teach again. First three days, routines, the expectations, all that, just looking back at it to、uh, refresh myself with all that because it's important as teachers that we are ready to go, printed out things. And yeah, that was my Tuesday. Have practice in the afternoon with my team, with my new team, actually. I'm officially part of it now. So、um, that was like fun. Obviously, like, honestly, like people don't show up. It's more like we just, like, some of the team members would join the pickup. In our local district, and then we just play soccer. But still, you know, getting some touches and what's so, it's always important. Get the exercise and what's so. And then, yeah, Wednesday, first day of school. Man, that first day was so long. It felt like forever. Like, I got there at 8 25, printed out materials, looked through everything again for what I was going to teach because the schedule changed. So, what I had from last year. Didn't align with what I used from the previous year. So I had to, like, I mean, I did that yes on Tuesday, like, you know, switch the slides and everything.、But、I had to come up with like different activities throughout the day because my students just kept cruising through all the activities I was doing or I assigned them. And it was crazy. Like, I just needed to be prepared more. You know, I should have thought about this situation or these scenarios because. Yeah, I just had to come up with a lot of different <laughs> activities on the spot, which the students liked. You know, it was more like getting to know the school, playing games, getting to know each other, all that, routines, expectations, and what's so. And yeah, you know, first day of my second year was successful. The students liked me, you know, especially during recess. I was getting chased around because I'm like, I'm now like not the only male teacher now at my school, which is nice, but still, like, I'm probably the only one that really like run around, <laughs> with, runs around with the kids. And it's like good to have that like dynamic between like strict and like, you know, teaching discipline, but also having the fun, fun side of me so that the students can also relate and have fun. 
because you don't want someone that's like always strict, you know. And yeah, my Wednesday was successful. Did I do anything else? No, I just, yeah, Wednesday was on my chill day because it was my first day. I was just exhausted afterwards and I just straight up went to bed. And yeah, no, that was crazy. It was a, it was a long day, but it was a fun day as well. And I was definitely looking forward to seeing my students again for tomorrow and everything. And then Thursday, second day of school, it was uh, pretty much the same thing. Just more of like a little more uh, educational based uh, activities where they did like addition and stuff, matching words, word searches, all that, you know. It was fun seeing them doing those activities. It also got me to, it also visualized my classroom and how I want to group students and how I want to pair them. I observed them making sure that students can work with each other. And I was definitely more aware of like the routines and expectations that I want from my students just because last year was a shambles for the first couple of days or the first couple of weeks actually i was just like struggling to figure out what i want from my students and i think this year i have a better picture obviously with a different group it's going to be different outcomes and everything but i definitely wanted i definitely had a clear vision of what i want and how i'm going to organize and manage my students and classroom routines and expectations so that's like a plus for me you know so hopefully that'll go well. And then I went to practice again. And it was uh, more intense for this uh, session. I actually pretty, played pretty well. It's, it's weird for me to say that, <laughs> but I think I played well. I scored a nice goal, which the players were just like erupting with like joy. <laughs> now they were congratulating me and everything. So that was like, it was a good feeling. And then Friday, Pretty much the same. I just caught more, did more activities, got to know the students more, and then went home, chilled. There was something that was going on. I forgot what it was, what exactly was going on, but I think I did something, and yeah, I just went to bed. Honestly, oh, I was just exhausted. Like literally, my sleeping schedule was waking up, no, sleeping at like 9, 9.30, and then waking up at 7. So that was my routine, which was crazy, that I sleep like a grandpa, <laughs> like an old person. And then Saturday, yesterday, I... What did I do in the morning? I did something in the morning. Oh, my God, I forgot what I did in the morning. I think I, oh, well, I guess it's just errands and stuff, like laundry, grocery shopping... I also just like looked into like different things that I'll be doing for the first week. And then I met up with my business partner, my friend. We went to this place called Colchester in Connecticut to a small bar. And then we just like, you know, just like sesh, like talked about it. We finally purchased bottles for our samples that we will be using for our um, content when we are recording videos. So hopefully those will arrive soon and then they'll turn out nicely. My friend and I, it's hard to like keep track of like, you know, or keep in touch just because we're both busy, but hopefully things can like, you know, progress later on. And then Sunday today, I had a soccer game with my team for the first time. It was just a scrimmage, but it was my first time playing with them. So I was a little nervous, but at the same time, confident that I'll be playing well. And we won 5-1 today. Good game. First half was atrocious, not gonna, it was just 0-0. We were getting attacked more, and I don't know. It just nothing just clicked. And then second half, I think the opponent was just getting tired. But we, uh, we just scored five goals, and they, I subbed off after scoring four goals, or after our team scored four goals, and we we didn't concede. And then we conceded as soon as I left the game. But hey, it doesn't matter. We still got the dub. Great experience. I'm glad that I'm part of this team now. Hopefully. I'll develop my skills and hopefully I can become a starter, you know, continuously be a key player in the team. So if you guys like this, make sure you guys like and subscribe 
and I'll keep you guys updated next week. Peace out.